Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today's wisdom will be coming from out of the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter number 14, verses 18 through 20. That's Genesis chapter 14, verses 18 through 20. And our theme today is a name you must remember. A name you need to remember. A name you need to remember, Elion. Of course, uh, uh, in our Table Talk Bible class, we've been dealing with a journey to knowing God. And if I'm going to know God, I need to know his name. And of course, we talked about the importance of names. And of course, people name people based on, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's cool, what's popular. And uh, of course, but names truly have meanings. And of course, in the Bible days, it spoke of one character, destiny, or his phone. And of course, with God, we can't literally uh, limit to him the one name. We can't put God in a box. He has many names, but he's the same uh, 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 God. And every name he bears is a blessing he wants to share. We talked about his name in uh, our first lesson, uh, uh, the Elohim God. In the beginning, God creates the heaven and the earth. He's the God of power and might, one who has the ability to create. We talked about him as the Jehovah God on last week. Uh, Jehovah or Yahshua or Joshua in the Old Testament. He is the one who is, who was, and who will always be. In the New Testament, he's Jesus. He is um, the great I Am. He's the one who always present today. Uh, we're going to deal with him as the most Mosai God of the Elion, the supreme God, the one who uh, creates and possesses all things. It was here uh, in our text that uh, Abraham, after rescuing Lot and uh, his family and all his good, and after coming from war, the king of Salem, of course, Salem is peace and Melchizedek, the righteous one. He meets uh, 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 Abraham as the king of Salem, the most high possessor of heaven and earth. He blessed Abraham and he kept Abraham doing uh, through the battle in the war. Abraham realized that he didn't keep himself. It was it was the God, uh, the Elion God. It was here that Abraham uh, uh, give him a tent. And so one of the things we need to know, three things we need to know as we relate to knowing uh, this name. Of course, we need to know him as we relate to tithing. As we as we're tithing, we know the law first mentioned is here. Uh, it was before the law, 400 years before Moses gave the law, and of course it was uh, before uh, the New Testament. So uh, we need to remember. Remember that God gives us everything and God expects us to give him back, uh, of course. And then uh, we need to know him when we're being tempted. Of course, uh, we, we certainly want to know him when we're going to the battle. But the greatest battle is when we are not at war. It is when we are being tempted, when the enemy comes in like a roaring lion. And then we need to we need to know him when we are being tested. Because our faith is going to be tested. And we need to know the most high God, the supreme God. Please join us tonight for our table talk and Bible class as we discuss uh, a name you need to remember. We'll be on at 715 uh, tonight. God bless you as always. May smile upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. That's my prayer for you and your family today. A name you need to remember. Elion.